Hello everyone, this is Scatcat242. Here's my review on the Acid Rain the Last Line of Defense. I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Shea. So this is a figure I had pre-ordered back in March. It finally arrived last week and now we're going to do a review on it. So before we get started on the review, we're going to take a look at the box art. So, pretty nice art. And there's the back. And as you can tell, not too many accessories of this figure, which is unfortunate because the prices on these figures have gone up quite a bit, but they're still pretty awesome. So let's take a look at her. So, nicely detailed. Uh, she's got her accessory belt, holster with two pistols, got a knife sheath, and she's got this pretty awesome shotgun. Now, when this figure was first announced, I thought she was just going to be a the same as, oh, I forgot what the, the other one was called. Um, Skellywags, I know you're watching this, but um, remind me what that figure was called, but I have her. So I thought she was going to be the same as this one. Faces are similar, come on, focus, but different head, hair, styles. Um, even the shorts are different. Shoes, I think, are the same. Um, but, yeah, different jacket. Arms could be the same, but for the most part, I think, yeah, they have the same belt. Oh, that's another interesting, too. She came with grenades, and um, she did not, because I was puzzled, like, what goes in here? I'll probably have to use some spare grenades from Marauders to fill that gap right there. But, so as I said, she has two pistols and these are removable. Hopefully I can get them out. So yeah, there's nicely detailed. And then in the back, she has a knife sheath, which comes out. Again, nicely painted, goes right back in. And then there's her shotgun. That's nicely detailed as well. And she comes with an alternate head, which easily just pop off this one and put that on. And now she is ready for some combat. So, but I'm probably gonna have her unmasked. So, articulation, now I had some a little bit of trouble with her, mostly in the knee joints, so I'm not going to try and force those, I'll probably have to heat those up, but, um, so, ball joint there, there's a neck peg there, ball joint in the arms, there's a joint in the elbow, uh, wrist articulation, the hinge, Pretty good waist articulation. Uh, it's a little bit hindered because of the jacket. Ball joints and legs. Double jointed knees, which fortunately are stuck. I'm not going to force. And really good ankle pivot. So, Shea is a pretty good figure. I'm glad I have her in my collection. Fortunately, with the prices of um, S Rain figures going up, she's going to be a little pricey. And within the, <coughs> excuse me, within the forty dollar range. Um, so, depending on your, if you're a fan of acid rain figures, it's going to not be cheap. But if you look at the right places, you might get a deal. Oh, and before I forgot, here is the little case, which comes with these figures. I have, I'm have i starting to amass a lot of these lately, but i just want to show that really quick. So, that's my review on this figure. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Feel free to leave a com comments down below, and thank you for watching.